Chairman, and thanks to the witnesses for being here. I first just want to, my, my dear friend from New Jersey and mayor down there, who we have a wonderful relationship, I believe you have gone from drinking that canned beer that you were so excited about to partaking of the devil's lettuce with your rant. That was quite epic, and you were really far out there on a lot of these topics. So um, that was one of the better ones that, that, we've, that we've experienced. So, But with that being said, Lee, again, let me thank each of you for being here. A um, couple of questions. Uh, Senator Graham, I believe you said that um, following the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, families received, I think it was you that said this, received about a $5,200 increase in, in salary. Is that $5,220 on average. Okay. Um, if you look at what inflation has done to American families, they've lost every single bit of that, haven't they? Well, they've lost part of it yeah. uh, since uh, President Biden took office. Again, you know, we can talk all you want to, and you certainly have the right to your own opinions, but you don't have the right to your own facts. The, fa the hardcore facts are that lower income families were huge beneficiaries of this tax cut. Black Americans saw their income on a household level grow faster than any other year in over 50 years. Now that's a fact. The census data, and I've got it right here, shows it. So you can say it didn't happen all you want to say, but what we're doing is just simply talking past each other. So um, if, I could, if I could reclaim, and thank you for that, yes, because it I'm is sorry. important when, when we look at what is the most important thing that should come from, from the tax code, it is really economic growth and economic development and creating jobs. Mr. Ramirez, how, how many people, how many new people have you hired since 2017? Oh, gosh, Congressman, th thank you for the question. I don't know the exact number, probably 200, 250 people. So those are 250 people, 250 families that have benefited from your, your investment, your risk, your hard work, and also the fact that, you're, that you have more in your pocket to, 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 to expand and grow your business. Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Irvin, what, Irvin when, when you started your coffee company, okay, you said you started it as a hobby in your backyard. And now, or in your garage, I should say. In the garage. In the garage. Um, you you now have, say it again, 12 employees? I have 12 employees that we currently have. We've hired more than that over the years. So. Again, families and individuals that, are, that, that have a job with you that otherwise would not have, have those jobs. Exactly. Right? Um, looking, ahead, look, looking further down the line. Dr. Winfrey, talk about how important it is with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. When we created the, the, the environment for research and development, not only to invent new products, improve on existing products, but then for businesses to be able to make the strategic capital investments to turn those ideas into products, sell them, and, and make a profit. How important is that to the American economy? Thanks for that question. All of our progress over the last 250 years is a derivative of three things. Uh, one is culture. We have an extremely innovative culture, and we should not be doing things to penalize that. Two are institutions, things like property rights. I can't believe I have to say this in 2024, but it seems like at the local level all the way up, and you can talk about Chinese stealing IP and things like this, or you can talk about how property rights have to be defended in cities and towns in America. Property rights are absolutely critical. And the third piece of that pie is technology, right? We should be promoting investments in technology. And when you get all of those three things together, you get prosperity. Okay. Uh, final question. Uh, this, will, this will be a final couple of questions here. Um, how many of you on the panel have, have borrowed money and put yourself at risk to either expand or start a business? Show of hands. Okay. Um, how many of you have signed paychecks? Okay. Um, I tend to trust that. You know how to run a business. You know how, what it takes. You've had to lay awake at night worrying about how to, how to actually get from point A to point B in this process, and you have found a way through it. And for you to say that it makes a difference in the success of your business and your ability to make other families better, 
I'm going to trust y'all's judgment on this. So thank you so much for being here.